kwa majina naitwa James Maina Mohoro na hapa tumesimama na one of my family members ambaye tumekuwa tukisaidiana naye kwa hii maneno anaitwa John sasa mimi ile maneno nilifanyika leo nilipigiwa simu na mkubwa wa polisi hapa na Kum County bwana Manzo kaniambia nikuje hapa saga sababu yule mshukiwa alihusika na mauaji ya msana wangu amepatikana na kutoka ile siku msana wangu alipoteza maisha yake nimekuwa na, na shida ya what could have happened na ni shida imenisukuma sana so i have just been wondering where someone should have sent my young daughter to anali grief na alifanya hivyo kwa nini na pia mimi hata mimi kwa upande wangu na mama yake tumedhoofika sana kwa hii maneno sababu hatukua tunajua njia fulani ile tunaweza jua hii maneno inaenda namna gani let me begin by saying that uh, we are very pleased today very very pleased that uh, following the king uh, the christening of uh, this girl called Angela Her name is Mary Angela Maina. Uh, that was on, on the night of 11 December 2022. From that date to date is uh, we, we, we can say that it's one month. It's a full day, one month, four weeks. And uh, we can say that uh, police Uh, we've not rested since that day. We've been trying to unravel. Uh, the death uh, happened to have uh, the body of the girl was discovered at some place in Gata, Gata Bridge. And uh, from that day, our team of the DCI, together with the support of the intelligence for this area, we've been moving. And just as we had promised that uh, no one stone will be left untouched, we were able to make a breakthrough that our investigation led us all the way to Eldoret. Uh, our officers were there for some several days, uh, tracking on one key suspect that, of course, later on we were able to, 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 to net him up, and uh, he was brought here at Salgad, offices of the different. So we have been having some interviews and interrogation, because from our evidence, the evidence that we have is that this is the last person This is the last person who was able to be uh, traced with the deceased, Angela. Investigation also revealed that he is the one who sent some money. Some money for fare, for transport on the evening of the 11th. And uh, thereafter, subsequently, we were able to trace through information from the public. We were able to establish their work together. They were together, uh, that is in the area of Chemuni. They were together again, uh, the last point where Angela was discovered. Uh, her body naked and of course he strangled to death. Seeing him as a key suspect and someone is helping us in investigation. One thing which is very clear is that uh, this, is a, this is a crime maybe which, could not, which, is, which cannot be committed by one person. And uh, we would wish him to support us so that we can be able to get justice for the victim. That is the parents and the family for him. So basically that's what we have for now. Uh, we will be facing it for, for tomorrow because of the restrictions, the constitutional restrictions of 24 hours. We know this is a big matter. It's a big matter, it's not a small matter. We have, we have many more uh, facts. And finally, what are the deterrent measures that in future we do not experience this kind of brutal murders of uh, innocent girls? The boy, according to the information, is, uh, is about 26 years old. The girl was 20, 21 years So we are looking at their relationship and we are also looking at 
possibly what would have led to the killing. So, yes, there was admission that yes, there was that commitment. Uh, from uh, the scene where this lady was discovered, it was obvious that she had been defiled. And uh, our investigators were able to take the samples for the defilement, to which, of course, the suspect has to also be placed for, for, for examination to see whether after defilement, maybe who else was involved in it. So, of course, we shall also be placed in for before, before doctor uh, so that we can have also the samples can be taken for compounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, have you established maybe whether the suspect is in the run because one month later after the incident, he, he did not? No, he did not. But of course, to us, to, to police, he has been on run. That's how we can, we can see it. Because yes, there is admission there was a communication. Yes, there was admission that there was no sending of money. But uh, thereafter, the suspect claims to have known of the, of the death of the girl a week later. Well, everyone would uh, want to claim some, some form of innocence. But we as investigators, we're going deep. We're trying to collect facts. So it is the facts that we shall place before court that will, of course, convict him or maybe make a determination. That's what we can see. And that being our entry point, we want to explore that part more. So tomorrow, the suspect will be arranged for court so that we can request to be given more days to sufficient enough. Because there are so many other facts that we need to establish. So all that we may request is uh, agencies that are responsible for this. They should realize that police. We do a lot of donkey work, too much work. Like we, this is an issue that we have been following for the last one until today. And uh, when we go to court, someone has a right to bail, is released the following day and the following moment. So it's important also for them to be looking uh, a matter by matter. There are those matters that uh, require, you know, severe. I mean, they require strong action so that uh, you do not yoke again. Basically, that's what I want.